Okay. <laughs> I said it once before, and I'm absolutely going to say it again. I have some amazing friends from the internet that I've never met. So what do I mean by that? Well, you know, on this channel we have 5,000 subscribers. On my other channel we have a hundred and some thousand subscribers. And it's funny how close you can become with people that you may never have met just by chatting or talking in comments, sending emails back and forth, uh, talking on live streams. It's just absolutely amazing the friendships that you can acquire. It, it's so amazing. Like, it, it's beyond belief. I, you know, people sending me my, my cup, some cups, or sending me chocolates and uh, Christmas cards. And uh, when my, my, when my uh, dog passed away last year, uh, little, little memorial statues to remember her by. Like, it's crazy that people go out of their way to be so nice to somebody who's just on a, on a channel on YouTube uh, out there. And one of the things that has really stood out in the last little bit, because it just happened again. Um, Bonnie, you know who you are. <laughs> I was I, I, I'm talking to somebody about booking a cruise and we got talking about how things are going and everything like that. And um, the, the conversations got around to vaccines and uh, they know because they watch the channel just how poorly we are doing our vaccine rollout here in Canada. Uh, and I'm not going to say the rollout. The rollout, you know, I'm not going to blame the, blame the provinces on slow rollouts or anything like that. I'm going to blame the federal government because we don't have any uh, vaccines to roll out. We are way behind. Um, they, say they, they say something like there's 86 countries in the world right now that are getting vaccines. We're like 68th in how fast we're rolling it out. Um, so uh, you would not think Canada would be so far behind. Uh, we had a government that was always claiming we have procured more vaccines than everyone else. We have bought more vaccines than everyone else. Yeah, you, you bought them. You just didn't ask for a guaranteed delivery date in your contracts. So yeah, they made them. They're making them. And eventually we'll get them. Uh, at some point, depending on who else has asked for guaranteed delivery dates, like the EU, the UK, etc. But apparently we didn't add those to our contracts in Canada with our federal government. We were just too quick to announce that we bought a lot of them. <laughs> thank, good. thank you. Thank you for buying them. I just wish you would have actually brought them here. Um, but anyway, I digress. Uh, don't get me started on the vaccines, but quite literally, quite literally, I have had emails or phone calls from people saying, Don, why don't you come down here and stay here in Florida with us? And we'll let you give our address as the like as the vaccine address and you can get vaccinated here in Florida. <laughs> for someone you really don't know. You really don't know me. I'm a face in a camera on a distant planet somewhere for all we know, right? Um, I could actually be CGI. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? <laughs> I think if they created somebody CGI, I'd be a little better looking than I am now. <laughs> and I wouldn't be as old. Uh, but yeah. It's kind of crazy that people are willing to be that kind to people. And uh, again, every time I say something like that, people always write in the comment, you know your love, don't make, you know your love by everybody. Yeah, but it, when you think of it, it's, it's one thing to send a Christmas card or a conver a send a hi or give a phone call. It's a complete other thing to offer somebody to come down to your house and spend time in your home 
uh, so they can get vaccinated. I mean, that's, and, and it's not one, two, three people. It's well over 50 different people have offered that to me. And uh, that's besides my friends in Florida who've said the exact same thing. So, but no, I'm here in Canada. I'm going to wait my turn. I'm not going to be one of those people who jump the line. Now, if some for some reason they say, you know what, we're, we've had some cancellations today. If you want a vaccine, come and get it. I'll come and get it. Or the United States saying, start saying, we welcome Canadians now because we've vaccinated almost everybody here. And if Canadians want to come down and get it, we'll give it to you. Then I'll go, but I'm, I won't jump the line. I'm not going to be that person. Uh, because quite frankly, I, you know, I guess I've had cancer surgeries. I have had lung surgeries. I've had chemo. I've had radiation. I've had all that. My immune system's probably next to zero. But I feel healthy, I feel strong, and I want somebody who is not feeling this way to get it if they have a higher chance of becoming much sicker than I am. That's kind of, kind of my thought process behind it. So, uh, but I, I, I want to thank everybody out there who's offered. I really do appreciate that. That is something above and beyond uh, to, a, to basically a stranger uh, on 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 the internet so um again thank you but i'm gonna wait my turn um and hopefully it starts to pick up better here there's no sign that it is but but we can keep keep our fingers crossed <laughs>